So if your screen time is through the roof, you're socially awkward, you can't seem to connect with other people, you're constantly depressed or anxious, and so you drown yourself in instant gratification activities like video games, YouTube, and porn to escape. You need to grow up mentally. So many guys try to focus on the external physical things like building physique, skincare, style, all of which is great, but none of it will work if you don't glow up mentally first. I wanted to glow up. I started working out, skincare, all of this. I wanted to live a better, happier life, be more attractive and fulfilled but none of it works. I could never do any of the good habits consistently enough to actually make any real progress. I was still creepy and awkward to be around and no one wanted to spend time with me. I just hated being myself. But when for the first time I actually looked inwards and actually focused on my mental health first, that's when all the progress started coming. I started making so much more progress than before. I started seeing results in my body transformation for the first time. My social skills skyrocketed and I could actually talk with anyone, started making friends and people liked spending time with me. But but most importantly, before I even started seeing any results in progress, is I just felt happy being myself, even before I'd achieved any of the results. Now the thing with growing up mentally is that no one does it. It might seem and sound like a difficult thing, but it's like if no one in the world works out at all. How long would you have to work out for for your physique to make you like top 1% exceptional? Six months? 12 months maybe? With growing up mentally, genuinely you can see incredible benefits in just about two weeks. So. How do you do it? Well, first is meditation. Meditation is honestly a 10 out of 10 top tier habit for anyone. So basically what it is, is mindfulness meditation is when you focus on your breath. If you actually try and do it now, you're going to get distracted straight away. Some sort of thought just popped up into your mind and your brain got distracted. But don't worry, this is completely natural. This is the point of meditation. The skill that you develop is when you get distracted, you bring your focus back to the present moment, back to your breath, and then you build up that skill of mindfulness. It's like a bicep curl for the brain. Every time you bring your focus back from that random thought, back to your breath, it's like a bicep curl for your brain. Your mindfulness muscle gets stronger. You'll see benefits and focus in your charisma and presence when talking to other people. So people actually want to connect and spend time with you. You'll feel happier. It'll reduce all your anxiety and depressive symptoms. You'll be happy with what you actually have in the current moment. It's such a beautiful, beneficial habit for every young guy. You'll finally stop overthinking of social situations, overthinking every single thing that you say, every single aspect of your body language, how much you smile, how long you smile, for when do you stop smiling all of these things that will disappear completely from your life when you develop the skill of mindfulness and actually live in the present moment when you talk to other people now number two is journaling now there are two types of journaling you should be doing if you're serious about glowing up mentally number one is gratitude journaling so what this is every single morning you take either your notes app on your phone or an actual physical paper journal and you write down three things that you're grateful for three things that's it and every single day there should be different things and they should be like little and weird things that you maybe wouldn't really think to be grateful for in the first place. And this literally trains your brain to become more positive, to see the glass as half full, to see the benefit and the positive side of every situation. Who doesn't want to spend time with people like that? Who doesn't want to spend time with someone who makes them feel like they're wanted, like they're welcome? Everyone does. So gratitude journaling is a 10 out of 10 habit because you'll literally be going about your day in a glow. You'll feel warm and grateful and people will want to be around you. And literally, as you're going about your day, you'll just find yourself thinking, I'm so grateful for this, I'm so grateful for that. It's a beautiful thing, because who doesn't want to spend time with someone like that? Because a lot of these guys, they have this almost neediness and desperation for friends and relationships. And obviously that's good because relationships are such a beautiful thing, but this comes across as like a neediness and desperation that's so unattractive and off-putting. So by finding ways to be grateful for your life as it is now, it gives you a more stable and firm foundation and base. So then you can actually go out there and approach with confidence and talk to people with confidence. And the second type of journaling is literally just journaling. If you have some sort of problem or idea or something that you're wrestling with in your mind that keeps popping up and interfering, get it out on a journal and write it down because it takes it out of this weak emotional state and puts it into objective black and white on the piece of paper. It takes out the emotion so you can actually see the problem for what it is. It literally slows down your thinking so you can actually observe the thought and see, is this reasonable or not? Try and figure out ways, weigh up the pros and cons and make a better decision. And also it can just help you get all your thoughts and all the racing thoughts and ideas you have in your mind out on paper, which 
feels like a weight taken off your shoulders completely. It changes the way you think because you have to provide such a clarity and structure to your thinking that you wouldn't really have if you just kept it all in your head. So journaling is another brilliant habit that I've only started implementing recently, but I've already seen so many benefits. Next is exercise. Now I'm gonna keep this short because hopefully all of you guys are already aware of the incredible benefits of exercise, both on physical health and also on mental health. But there are two types of exercise every young guy should be doing. The first is lifting weights or doing some sort of resistance training. So calisthenics and bodyweight training also counts. Now this is so, so key because right now as a teenager, I'm guessing you're a teenager if you're watching this video, you're going through puberty. Right now is the perfect time to start working out because when you combine the newbie gains you usually get when you start working out with your puberty, you're gonna skyrocket your physique. You're gonna make so much more progress than you would have done at any if you started at any other point in your life because building muscle is so crucial for any young guy. You start getting attraction from girls, you start getting respect from guys, and most importantly, you start becoming more confident in yourself. Now the second type of exercise is cardio. All the gym bros straight away, I know they're gonna click off, they're gonna get angry, but listen, do not neglect cardio. So since we're talking about glowing up mentally here, you've heard about all the mental health benefits of exercise. Spoiler alert. 90% of them come from cardio. Now, obviously this includes like long distance running, jogs and cycling, whatever. But what I also suggest for you alongside these, or even instead of this, is doing a cardio heavy sport. So football, rugby, fighting, anything like this, basketball. Because these things, they take your mind off of the cardio. So literally you're doing so much cardio and you don't even realize that you're doing it. You're having so much fun. You're in a flow state when you're just playing the sport. And it's such a beautiful thing. It's so good for your physical health and mental health. And also if you join a sport like this, the social skills benefits are huge. When you're with other young guys, especially if it's a team sport and you're all working towards the same goal, it's a beautiful thing and you'll feel so good about yourself and it will be such a fulfilling experience. Next is controlling your content consumption. You've got to drastically reduce the time you spend on the internet, on social media, especially consuming short form content. Now I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, yeah, yeah, I've got to reduce my social media use, but you don't know just how bad social media is for you. So short form content literally destroys your attention span completely because it's so short, it's so much shorter than any sort of entertainment we're ever used to. And you get so much simulation such a short amount of time. So when your attention span gets destroyed, you can't focus on work. Now it's becoming literally a high value skill to be able to work, focus without interruption, without distractions for like half an hour, an hour maybe. This is why in social situations as well, if your attention span is so short, you can't focus on the present moment. So this is why you're so awkward and creepy in social situations. You constantly overthink every single aspect of your body language, what you're gonna say. All these anxious, negative thoughts keep popping up in your mind and you can't be focused and present in the moment. This is why no one wants to spend time with you. So you might have noticed that I didn't say cutting out or reducing. I just said controlling. So yes, we still want some content coming in. You still want to be consuming some content. I still consume content. Just not the brain dead shit that we used to watch. So actually start consuming some intellectual high value content that's gonna improve you as a person. Chris Williams's Modern Wisdom podcast, Marcus Aurelius's meditations and Carol Dweck's mindset. Start reading books, watching podcasts, all of these things. That's how you really mentally grow up. You start becoming a better educated person and not educators in school actually educated about things that you're interested in things that actually matter in real life you actually start having interesting ideas and become a more interesting person to talk to so let me tell you a story to illustrate this point so i was in the gym i was on one of the squat racks doing overhead press never hit legs and the guy on the squat rack next to me was doing squats and this guy was probably like some high value guy like he was bold probably in his like 30s and he was built he was like properly strong so whilst he was resting i just came over and said mate i've got to say this is like the most perfect squat form i've ever seen and it was genuinely he looked like you know the demonstration person like the little animation they have showing you how to squat it literally looked like that it was perfect it was crazy crazy so i went and told him that he was like oh yeah thank you thank you so we started talking we started talking about the gym we started talking about different training styles then we started going into other topics we started talking about sleep and like self-improvement and this stuff if i'd been consuming youtube shorts and instagram Real. What would I have been able to talk to, to relate to, to actually been able to have a conversation about with this high value 30 something year old? Literally nothing. I have nothing in common, no interesting ideas, nothing to talk about. We started talking about literally fucking Andrew Huberman, we started talking about this, we started talking about Matt Walker, why we sleep and all this. 
because I'm consuming interesting content, I can actually connect with high value people who are so far ahead of me in life and actually connect with them and learn from them. Now you might be thinking, well, then I'll have nothing to talk about with the people in my school. And that's true for some of the people in your school, you won't. But then you've got to ask yourself, in the long term, do you really want to be friends with these guys anyway? If there's like some girl that literally only watches TikToks and does nothing else with her life, it doesn't matter how cute she is, do you actually want to talk to her and be in a relationship with her? There's some guy who all he does is watch fucking degenerate TikToks and play FIFA. Do you really want to be, be able to connect with him and become friends with him? Now, I know not every single young guy in your school is going to be on self-improvement, fully trying to improve himself. But there are a lot of guys going to the gym. A lot of guys have started going to the gym. Start talking to people about the gym. Start joining sports clubs and talking about sports and stuff like that. And you can connect with people your age. And if you also want to connect with people who actually are on self-improvement, doing all these good habits, trying to live a fulfilling and more purposeful life. I've also made a Discord server as well. You can go check that out. Not you don't just have to join mine there are a lot of others out there i'm just suggesting mine obviously because i'm a bit biased next is being in nature bro look what i am right now i've got the sea behind me look at this shit, bro it's fucking beautiful being in nature is so key to our mental health we feel happy we feel fulfilled when we're out in nature but we're so separated from it nowadays i swear to god you can't be depressed when you're climbing on a tree i swear it's physically impossible right now bro I've got the grippers out, I'm barefoot on grass with the sun shining in my face, probably making my eyes look weird in the video. Bro, I can't be depressed right now. How? It's like physically impossible for me to be depressed when I'm out here. And yet we're so disconnected from nature in the modern day. We sit inside in our little cubicles and our little rooms, sit on our little electronic devices all day 24 seven. And we never even go outside and experience nature. I know I'm probably sounding like your mom right now telling you to go outside and get some fresh air. But honestly, she was right, bro. Nature, I was, wanted, I was like, now why would I want to go out in nature? It's so uncomfortable, there are like bugs crawling around. It's like cold and shit. Bro, nature has a huge impact on your mental health, massive. You can't be addicted to social media when you're outside of nature. Literally now, whenever I get like a craving, if I want to go watch porn, if I want to go on my phone and scroll on social media and waste my time away, if I'm not feeling motivated, I literally go outside in some grass, I go climb up a tree or something like that, and it disappears. Because we as humans feel happy when we're outside in nature. You will become a more warm and nice person to be around and spend time with when you start spending time in nature. And not to mention all the physical health benefits. You breathe the fresh air. Like right now, I'm barefoot. There's this thing called earthing. If you're barefoot out on like grass or on natural surfaces, it literally helps reduce inflammation in your body. Having morning sunlight in your eyes. I came out first thing in the morning and I walked outside down here. Having morning sunlight going in your eyes first thing in the morning is so, so healthy for your circadian rhythms, for your dopamine system. It's so, so good. So spend more time outside, bro. And finally, is to have a purpose. Have some goals that you're working towards. As a young man, you need to set some ambitious as fuck goals, bro. As young men, we feel most happy and fulfilled when we're making progress towards our goals that's when you feel most fulfilled i can give you all these mental health tips and advice but the way to feel more fulfilled and happy and mentally grow up is to be making progress towards a goal and you need to set some ambitious goals bro because when you're in the trenches when you're down there and you're not motivated and you don't want to go out and do the work you're not going to get out of bed when it's cold and rainy outside for I wanna make 500 pound a month and I wanna tone my arms, bro. Shut the fuck up, tone your arms. If you set the goal of I wanna have the 10 out of 10 perfect physique and I wanna make 10K a month online, I'm getting out of my bed, bro. I don't care how cold it is, I'm getting out of bed because I want that goal. I wanna make progress towards that goal. And even if you don't achieve that goal by setting an amb ambitious as fuck goal if you even get 50 percent of the way that's so much further ahead than you would have been if you set the lower goal people will want to spend time with someone who's ambitious focused and goal driven goals will find it more attractive you'll start getting respect from guys and you'll feel so much more confident excited and fulfilled when you actually start to see progress towards your goals that's how to glow up mentally boys once you glow up mentally everything else will follow trust me and yeah i'll see you in the next video Mwah.